Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Daytime Star, episode 51 and 52. Due to Webtoon's new policy, I do have to blur 50% of each episode, so if you guys do want to read along with me, it is available on webtoons.com. And yes, that means I have to use the cat logo with other filters as well. And for anyone out there who are wanting something with early access to all of my content for the month of July, they are all available on patreon.com slash cktchaotic. I do have a free trial version for seven days for anyone out there who's are, who are interested for my tier two and tier three. So definitely check it out. I'll drop the link in the descri description box below. Let's go ahead and get started. If you guys remember, she got in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> and she's a little, little tipsy. Uh, uh, what do you think you're doing here? And why aren't you wearing a hat? Dage whispered. Don't you think a hat would look a little out of a place with a suit? That's not the point. Everyone recognizes you. This could have been avoided if only had picked up my calls. Don't blame me if this ends up in the dating rumors between you and me. Uh, date, dating? R rumor? Uh, ding dong. Press. Wait, why did you press that? You're seriously, you're not seriously. Hello. Uh, Why, well, hello, Mr. Kang. That was fast. Do you have any private rooms upstairs? There will be about 15 more people joining us. Why? Of, of course we do. Fifteen more people? Uh, hey there! They are... There they are! Looks like we found the right place! Ugh. That was some short notice for a company dinner. Minsoon? You're not even in M M K. Hey, it's not my fault no one in M K knows how to party. He's right, though. Oh, everyone's face... <laughs> Uh, who are these people? You didn't think I came here without a plan? And your plan was to bring the biggest celebrities in one place? I had no choice. <gasps> when you were here. Uh, uh, I should have picked up the phone. <laughs> now you've realized. Daytime Star, episode 51. Ugh. But, as a host, shouldn't you have stayed longer? Guangzhou's car. I came here to get you, not to have dinner. I gave them the credit card, so my work is done. Yes, that's all a host needs to do. Why didn't you pick up my calls? Uh? I didn't know what to say. I thought of this and that, and none of them seemed real. Right. This and that, huh? So tell me. I'll help you find something appropriate to say. <sighs> okay, then... Why didn't you tell me sooner? Then the whole fight could have been avoided. If you'd only told me the truth, we wouldn't have ended up hurting each other's feelings. That was... this. I'm sorry I got the wrong idea and got mad at you. I never would have guessed. And that was... that. <laughs> I told you, we weren't finished talking, but you left without listening to what I had to say to go to Kang. But I had no idea that was what you were going to tell me. Anyway, here. Was that? It's a gesture to reconciliation. Reconciliation. Oh my god. I can't ever say this word. Reconciliation. Oh, you guys are going to freaking get me for it. We were both in the wrong when you think about it. Let's bygone be bygones. <laughs> hey, do you just laugh? I'm being the mature one by reaching out to you first. Shouldn't you have at least pretended to take? I'm sorry for making you misunderstand. 
They're such a cute couple. <laughs> then I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for driving me home. Um, if you don't mind, why don't you come up? I don't want to part with you him just yet. I want him to make you a cup of coffee. Eh? Uh, I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to. Do you know what a man would think if his girlfriend asked him to come up to her apartment at this hour? Uh, oh. <gasps> no, I just didn't want you to part with you so soon. Come on. What are you waiting for? His face, like... To be continued. Daytime star. Episode 52. Crap. I've been here for hours. What's your thinking, staying out this late? Perhaps she's out drowning her sorrows in alcohol, seeing as the article popped up soon after she broke up with Si Yun. <laughs> uh, what's that luxury car doing in this shabby neighborhood? Uh, clap. Si Yun Kang? What is he doing here? I thought they he broke up with Yura. Wait, he might be just here to exchange their last goodbyes. You would never be cool with a man who's seeing someone else. Jion Yu. Jion Yu. Jion Yu. Ring, ring. Jion Yu Kim. I better take this. Is it Jion Yu again? Hey, don't answer it. We haven't had a drink in ages thanks to Mr. Big Shot Actor. Hey, Jinyu. Where are you? Let's go get a drink. Uh, sorry, I can't tonight. I'm out here with some friends. What? Who cares about your friends? I need a drink now. Hey, come on, just this once. I haven't even seen my buddy since one of them lost their dad a few years back. I've been friends with him since. Yeah, I don't care. Who, who do you think is paying for uh, that drink anyway? What a jerk. Beep beep. Shut up and get here already. Bastard. What am I? Your slave? What? I'm so freaking ashamed that I've been making my living working for the likes of you. <gasps> what got into you? Whatever, man. I'm done putting up with your crap for all these years. W what? I can tell you you went to harass Yura again. Stop bullying that girl and keep sucking up to those rich in-laws of yours before your wife decides to dump you for good. And you're real and you're a really crappy actor, you know that? Hey, hey, you asshole! Tell me where you are! Right now! Click. Beep beep. Beep beep. Why? Beep you Finally someone else to freaking stick it to him. Dr dr Click. Hey. Can you where the hell are you? I know you have nothing on your schedule today. Why aren't you home already? What in the world have you been up to? You think I- Shut up. What? I said, shut the hell up. Click. <laughs> yeah. oh. Oof. Lots of tensions around. Did that kettle scare you? <laughs> I was just really focused, that's all. On uh, making instant coffee? Hey, don't you laugh at my coffee sticks. It requires great skills to master them, you know. Okay, fine. I prepared to be wowed. I'm so nervous. Do you know what a man would think if his girlfriend asked him to come to her apartment at this hour? He made me feel all self-conscious. You look, you, look, uh, you look a lot like your mother. What? Oh, people used to say I look half like my mom and half like my dad, but I seem to resemble her more as I grow older. That's her parents? Gosh, she got some good genes. 
Do they live back in your hometown? No, they passed away when I was in school. I see. Huh? Strange? I always felt sad whenever I had to talk to someone about my parents, even after all these years. But somehow, his matter-of-fact attitude makes me feel more comfortable. That must have been hard for you all by yourself. From now on, I'll always be here with you. It's like his eyes are more telling me so much more than a string of empty promises of one can't keep. Wait, wasn't I just complaining about him for leaving out important words all the time? <laughs> hmm? It's just that I don't feel nervous anymore. You were feeling nervous? Ah. Well, well, you said all those weird things. What weird things? What you said back in the car. <laughs> oh, forget it. Oh. What about what I said before? To be continued! Oh. So what's gonna happen, guys? What's gonna happen? <laughs> All right, guys, that was a really cute read. All right, guys, so if you guys enjoyed my webtoon reaction slash reading style, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments on how y'all feel about these two episodes, chapters, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!